what is the most unnecessary thing that Officer Jenna does for you? They're just like, ah, why? Why do you always want to smash us? Like, can't we just be friends? Can't we just be friends? Like, why are you always trying to smash, bro? As much as Yeah, man, guys, your boy Luol Jom on DC, the best, the greatest. I'm out here at Drill Royalty, a Drill Goddess. She's out here at the Pioneers of the Sound in SA. My queen, please introduce yourself to my subscribers. I go by the name of Tam Carson, Come everybody. It's now. so nice to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Come on. Watch out with SA's hot boy, the sure. hottest nigga in the street. Guys, who are off the road right now, if I must say? How you doing, my brother? Please introduce yourself to my subscribers. I'm feeling nice right now. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Usi Mamani, also known as Carson. What's up? I'm here with SA's hottest rapper. He's about to drop LH3, niggas. We don't know when. We don't know when, but he's cooking this shit. Oh, it's on. My king, please introduce yourself to my subscribers. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I go by the name Lucas Raps, YOG, the Come big on. Bush. Come on. Probably, not even probably. Definitely the greatest rapper you've ever laid your eyes on, man. Come on, guys. How are you doing, kid? I'm easy. How are you, sir? I'm right. I just want to know how things are moving quick now. They're online. Things are, things are moving like this. How's oh, yeah? it been in the space of hey, man. three weeks? How's it been? What I can tell you, bro, is I'm tired. <laughs> you know, I'm really tired, bro. I'm so exhausted. But you know what? I feel good, bro. Blessings yeah. up. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. My mama happy. Come on. I'm happy. You've been ready for you. years. And this is you like, know? Like, this has been a long time coming. For sure. Come on. How are you doing, my queen? I'm doing so well. How are you doing? I'm great. I just want to speak about the music. Like, you, I bumped into your tracks. So obviously, we reacted to a couple of your music videos. You're doing well, by the way. That's a shout out. Shout out to the sound you could, you've jumped on. How has it been from getting it in SA to now for you? How's it been? The drill sound. Because you're owning that realm right now. So I first started drill in 2020. It was shout locked out. down. So not a lot of people were doing drill at all. Um, so it's been, it's been great because at home I'm known as the only female drill artist. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've had to just basically keep the, yeah, yeah. keep the name going, you know, you keep, keep the hype going. So I basically just had to keep pushing. I love the genre. I think I'll stick to the genre, yeah. but I'm also versatile. So I don't just fully do drill. I do so many other things as well. You understand? So I was watching, I said you're a wonder kid in the sense of, my boy, you've been in the game for so long. You're young, you're young OG. The yeah, yeah. And from the experience you've learned from coming in to now, how has it been? Like, you, uh, different level. You're a brand now. How yeah. is it? I mean, it's been, it's been fun. That's the most important part. Like, I won't lie to you. It's actually been fun. And it's been like, it makes you actually really Realize, do you want to do this thing out of love and passion or do you want to do it out of popularity and money you know what I mean and I think I've gotten to a love and passion part like that part of my career so look at us hey look at us look at us huh who would have thought not me but like now it's like even working for the brands and getting the brands it's like it has to happen it naturally happens yeah it's like second nature now I obviously peaked your story of leaving high school as a don rapping to the niggas like I'm out yeah. so you going to Pori's and then I feel like where I saw you you wanted this when you stayed in the cottage on the side when you moved on one mat yeah. how was that like at the Explain to us the trenches Cause right now you saw How was the trenches for you at the bottom It was always the bottom Like it, it was always like Whatever the bottom Is to people that Are from the bottom If you understand like yep. Yo The hood is the hood You can't explain it If you don't know it That's a fact That's a but fact But To give you like Some explanation That's like a fact That's a fact Finances Come on it's, it, it, That's a big problem It was a big problem Oh no You, you probably know what I'm still saying? had like, holes on rotation That's a respectful thing You probably had yours on rotation Nah bro Like I won't lie to you I only like Became that type of homie After like A year of living with Pori Stop the cap <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not even because I was trying to be, but yeah. because it's a different life. Like Johannesburg was a different life. Yeah, How's that and I was like, well? I was like 17 at the time, yeah, so it's like, like you were one the kid. You came like, in the game hot. Oh yeah, but like it was confusing. I wasn't really trying to like focus on hoes and shit like that. I was just trying to like, yo, what song can I make? Because I I knew I could rap, but I didn't know I could make like the best songs. So I was trying to understand how to make some good music. That's a fact. So yeah, like that was mostly that time. Then when I saw girls. 
girls like me. I was like, oh. But it was an easy thing. I, I, I. I can fight in this. This is an easy thing. You know what I'm saying? I just want to tell you, my boy. So who, who inspired your sound? Like, who have you been popping since a young until now? Who inspired your sound? Uh, I have to say, Tugger. Come on. Yeah, come on. Uh, that was like the influence, influence. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We had a bit of Tugger since I didn't do it. The come way on. we sound. You know, shout out to him. Come on. Free Tugger. I mean, and back home in so, gave you the body. Yeah, 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 for sure. Let's see. I mean, that's the guy. That's, right, that's the so. blueprint that like, right, Come on, dog. Can, I can't even. I can't even lie. Yeah. I'm not going to be that person who's going to be like. I'm not inspired by yeah. niggas. That was greatness. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, saw some. You saw blueprint. I can do this thing, dog. And shout and out that, to him. And since then, my boy. And now, obviously, for my take, we need to now. What's the difference, my boy? Being in Joburg, like how quick it is. So it's Eteguin, how is, uh, what's uh, it like for you? Eteguin, yo, Eteguin, you got talent, Come man. Now. My opinions are facts. For sure, everyone, oh. I, like most of us, it's not only me. Yeah. There's and a lot of niggas. Too There's a lot of niggas. You know? Um, but like... I don't think it's 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 probably like that. Oh, I don't think that's where the really? culture is. My nigga, I could put like a top three province. No, 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 province be province. Mm. Cause that's like you, nasty, Becky, Tony, Tamani, Dog, Lord. So you guys got niggas. BT got Reese. Santos. Like I can do region. Niggas oh, are hot in Durban. Hey yo, Durban, we say like that, bro. Durban. I mean, I get okay, my lump forget. Started the way. Yo, come on, bro. Come on, the fuck. Oh shit, bro. my bad. He yeah. also inspired myself. I mean, the Venek. Come the vernacular. Come on. I mean, that's him. Bro, so holy oxygen in yeah, that I mean, like, come on, bro. He set the trend, so I should do the thing now, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Put a note before the trend. Now, let's just unpack a little bit to have a little bit of your time. Who, who are your main inspirations with music? Who started this gangster shit for you? The artists you looked up to, even the people back at home. Who gave you that inspiration to do what you got to do right now? I think I'd say definitely Nasty C, one of them. Definitely Young MA. She's like one of, she's still she one on of the, the hottest guys. Definitely. And you know what I like about her is she doesn't have to show ass and titties to have her music thank listen you. to. Thank you. Thank you. Understand. Thank you. So I feel like I'm I'm kind of doing the same. I'm kind of in the same vibe. Yeah, Obviously now and then I'm gonna post a little. Just just for the fans. Just for the fans. But other than that, like I want people to know me fully for my music. How am I? Actually, I actually had some money in the studio today. Yeah, yeah. LH3 is going to be crazy. I have him on the project. He's, he's actually, like, it's crazy. You didn't see my story. But why is that a story? I posted today, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah we could have something crazy. Oh boy, I just want to know as well, like, working with all the artists that you, seeing all the artists you want to work with in the studio on a daily, oh. they're hitting you up. Mm. How is it for your mental, as, as a person? I'm not going to lie, bro, it's so crazy that I can just, like, call Zuchi right now. Yeah? It's so okay. crazy. Oh, he just, oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. everyone? What? Like, hit you up, awesome, yo, just like today. Yeah? It was like, yo. He pulled it up. I was like, yeah, for sure. Say and that. I had to go there. It was so crazy. So oh, surreal. Come on. Like, everything is so hectic, dog. I'm and not going to lie. Because people are messing with your talent. You know? It's your talent off the back, my shit. Hey, bro, I don't even know how to act, you know? Yeah. I'm going to own the moment. It's you. Hey, bro. I, I, I guess I, I guess I got to be myself. Because, like, that's what but people been telling me. Uh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'll speak about 2024 and Lucas Rath. What you got cooking? Because you dropped a couple of things. You dropped Radar. Yeah. A couple of things coming up as well. Yeah. What have you got cooking right now for us? Uh, Project wise, you know what I'm saying? So LH3, I don't know if you know about location hurting as yeah. a whole, right? I, I know the team so, jumped. Yeah, so yeah. it's been dropping from 2019, yeah. right? Yeah. So now that I'm independent, I signed myself to my my own label. Thank you, sir. Which is Big Crush Music Group. You understand? Young CEO in the motherfucker, you get me? Told you, youngest but, in the game. but um, we now can take location hurting to all platforms. Thank you. We can now give it the attention and love yep. and and support and that appreciation that it needs. True. You understand? Because I want to speak like I don't part with anything. Yeah. But I feel like your last project. 
I don't think people backed you like that. I don't know what was happening in the background. I don't feel like you're backed like that to a point. So now that I'm seeing you come in this new direction. And yeah. The rollout, see even the way you're going to address the shit. So it'll be in a different way. I mean, I don't think. I think it done what it was meant to do. Yeah. It didn't so do. Look at what the, the South Pole came out. Yeah. Like, a, but like I said, I can rap, but I can't make the music. And that was something that I was sure. pretty much being hard on myself. Like, yo, bro, you fu- you probably the fucking best rapper in this fucking world. That's like you you really understand how to rap yeah but now understand how to make music there we go so like it's been like two years that i dropped something so it's like for two years bro i've been training myself how to get better at writing hooks how to write stories together like i've been mining myself to get to a better place like dealing with things that make me uncomfortable as an artist and saying yo Shed light on the on your weaknesses yeah, so that you're strong overall. Shout out to so that's what I'm saying. Location early road. three is about to be fucking crazy. Like, Come on. I'm not just saying this because, like, you know, artists have to hype their shit. I'm saying this because, bro, I worked hard and I'm like, it's you put your heart into this project. Not even that. It's like, yo, bro, I understood that I'm Lucas on this project. I'm him. I've been him. I will continue to be him. You get what I mean? Bag and yeah, bro. This goddamn bag and I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, now that you're in the sport of music, like of hip hop, because we're in the sport right now, I'm going to get your opinion about the beef that's been going on with J. Cole, Kendrick, and Drake, right? The big three. What is your whole aspect about J. Cole re- replying with an apology, saying sorry about beef? Does it hinder the sport of hip hop? I personally feel like hip hop beef is just planned. I feel like people are dropping albums, but they're beefing before the album drops. Thank you understand? You. So I feel like the beef is just to get the people talking. Damn. But I get it though And I think AKA once said Like We need female rappers In South Africa To beef That's when it's gonna get hot That's a You fact, know what uh, I mean Cause remember how peak It was with Casper and him It was peak We wanted exactly. to We wanted So if Hypothetically That's why I know It's not good for the Female rap game But if someone had to Pull up with you On a drill to tell Oh yeah you, Pull up on me uh, <laughs> Let's go Let's rock. It's game time. You're ready to go for it. But for would, sure. would you ever do a thing, the planned one? Like, yo, let's let me take, can I, not in a car. You're like, yo, my boy, I just need this. Let's just go back. Would you ever indulge in that? I don't really like planned things, man. I mean, oh. uh, if it we beef be things, let's, let's beef. I mean, if you like me, don't come at me on a song and then you're going to hug me yeah. in person. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I respect that. I respect that. I just want to know, my nigga, right now, we've been speaking about the beef and shit with Kendrick, J. Cole. What do you think J. Cole, as one of the co right now him apologizing did it hinder the sport of hip hop hey man I don't know about that one bro just up there just I feel like I feel like Jermaine had one job you know all he had to do was to stand on business bro like Fuck tough but I got a lot of feelings and you hurt damn near every one of them uh, you know, the it's, it's, it's not like um, Jermaine was the one who dissed first. Come on, dog. like nigga, come on, dog. They dissed you, and you just going to diss and apologize. And sorry in front of nah, the that's crazy. I was yeah. again, so no one. So if someone pulls up to you, just this track, it's self-titled your name. Ooh. Shooting back same time, no sorry, no nothing. Well, I you know, you wanna come up? People wanna come for you on the name. Oh yeah, nah, nah, I'm too chill when it comes to that, bro. Please, no smoke. You're too, you're too easy I am there. too clutch when it comes to that, bro. I gotta, I gotta see, you know, cause like most of the time it's about numbers. Oh, so niggas be using your name for clouds or whatever, you know. But so you know, I just calculate and see if, um, <laughs> you know. But it's not about that, bro. Yeah. If you just go to drop my name or say my name, yeah. it's up. It's like, you know, it. you just I, I mean, music. like. But if someone had to come at you with a diss, it's interesting. You going off? You going off? If someone had to come with a track, just later, it's just called Lucas Raps. They come at you. You know that's suicidal for anybody, right? So much. They know that, right? So much. It's late. Right now, I know who you bumping right now. Like your top three, locally and internationally, who you bumping currently? Ah, definitely Future. Definitely Twenty One Savage. And definitely Usima Mane. <laughs> first off, touch of light. Yo, what is your best bar that you written? Like God touched you. Nkulu Nkulu touched you as you're writing this bar. No, any track. I don't want to brag. I don't want to act like I'm him, even though I'm him. 
Hey, y'all, there's a lot of bars. I'm not even sure. Just one, if you can remember yeah. for the boy. One. Okay, I would say it's Java's favorite, man. That's, come on. Uh, every time, every time Big Homie Java be seeing me, it's always uh, a thing of, oh, here's that boy who said, uh, you giving me beef and you drop it, I pick it up, still gonna eat it, like you ain't gonna boy. <laughs> Like that, and it's an official one. You know, we're highest level. Nigga. Yeah, that's one of your life is crazy now, man. Hey, bro. My no, like, I just want to ask you one, one juicy question. I'm gonna let you go. What is your favorite out of all the tracks you've dropped? That like you've dropped a lot. Your most favorite bar that you remember the way God touched you as you're writing the pen. You're like, yo, I was spitting that one line or couple bars that you carve. You're like, yo, uh, your favorite, personal favorite. Shit, you got your, you got your phone. Say this, say this. You got your phone. A few moments later. Well, I say, so it's like I say, my patience, my patience went low, but I got here. Ain't no BBC, but I'm in top gear. Hey, yo. Channel with the show, come on. You get what I'm saying? Like, Channel with the show. I was very happy. I was I was like that. Then got the master key, got the master key, so bring the locks here. Yeah. Yeah. When it's Lucas Raps, you know that pot's here. Ref- Referencing the fact that hip hop lives within me forever. My nigga, this guy's the gold. Guys, respect to the gold. Guy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Lyrics, you appreciate it. it. You appreciate it. it. I basically said. Um, it was a song that I just dropped. I need to think about it. Um, the song is called Where You Been. I basically said, um, they were shaking on your dick while I was laying in a slum. But now I got another plan. I can't be stuck on you. I got another man. It could be another bitch's other man. I guess we'll never know because a man's a man. I could have. Be another bitch's other man. See, do we gotta do that? It could be another bitch's other man. That's I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm with my second question. What is the one thing that the other gender does that you find unnecessary? You like, alright, bro? Come on, really? I don't know, bro. Like, I feel like Instagram, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. when they be doing their thing. Yeah, come on, it's like when they be you know? <laughs> Rappers be talking about, I got your bitch. Instagram got your bitch. Mm-hmm. Instagram got your bitch. I'm always like, yo. Because like, I always tell my girl not to do it, you know? I'm, I'm not respecting. Like, I'm not respecting. Look for me. But I, like, I don't even have to tell her. No, She's on it like that, no, you know? to the queen. You always want to tell her to the queen, bro. <laughs> Shout out. Why do you always want to smash us? Like, can't we just be friends? Uh... No. Can't we just be friends? Like, why are you always trying to smash, bro? As my cheetah. As my cheetah. As Mncha Kaya. I won't lie. That's a good line. I'm a really woman. That's a good line. I can't lie. I can't even lie. Yeah. Niggas, why are you trying to fuck? Like, like love. So you're telling me there's no such thing as a friendship between a man and a... I do have a lot of male friendships. I mean, I'm obviously in the industry. Shout out have to Have they the... ever tried to jump the line? Some it's of them good. have it. Mm-hmm. A lot of them have, though. Ish. Hard it, Jesus. She's had it. She's had to put you back in line. My, my last question. Now that you've got a girl, I'm not gonna, gonna put you in a tricky one. It's a would you rather? Would you rather send your girl to jail for one year, high max security prison, or no diddy on this one? Would you beat your best friend's need for ten minutes? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> 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 Ten minutes, just ten, Audi. Oh, you're hey, man, what the fuck? Oh, you're sending your girlfriend to jail for one year. Hey, this is crazy. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. <laughs> Damn. What you hey, she going to jail? Fuck. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm touching my own. She's man. Audi. She's hey. in the jailway. Hey man, respectfully, I'll have to make money to get her out. Say less. She's on the commissary level. She'll be soft when she's inside. I mean, like, come on now. I do my last question, my queen. It's a tricky one. Would you rather spend one year in high max security prison, like with a real woman like that, or take back your most toxic ex? Yeah, I'll take back my toxic. But you're gonna marry man. He stays with you forever. Like, I'm fine. Out. Damn. She still wants the ex. Bro. Yeah, I won't lie. I won't lie. She still. That, my nigga, that's a sign for you to holler. I'm not gonna lie. That's a sign for you to holler. But- and I need you. And I miss you.
Like, my boy, I saw you. This quick post, I saw you ripping the Arsenal top, my boy. You an Arsenal supporter. You struck, I'm not like, gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, bro. It just then, went. It's at the trip. It just That's went with the. It just went with the fit, and I was like, yo, it looks clean. It looks clean. I actually support City, bro. I say this not trying to. I actually here. support I'm City. Support but I won't lie to you. I was telling someone, someone at the event. I was like, yo, I know I support City, but I support Pep, bro. Like. Uh, that, that, he's a dog. He's a dog. That's who I support. Yeah, like, yeah. like that. he's that's a, the man. He's a man. He's a brain. He's a he's the, brain on him. Imagine having a team full of superstars and telling them if you guys all don't play together as a team, you out. <laughs> not even you Audi. We don't work. True, and it makes them all work. You understand? But in a sense, it's not really a super team if you think about it's it. It's not about the super yeah. team. It's everybody having an understanding that yo, we all can be egotistic, but if we mise those okay. egos and work together, together, we can get the treble. Say less. And, and they've done it back to back three times, back to back to back. So it's like, come on, man. Be to them, it's calm. We can just ah, go there. Come on, boy. It's City boys up. How many? Come on, boy. You're such a FIFA. Uh, no, I'm terrible then. It's fine, it's fine, it's I'm fine. terrible, but I can play a little bit. Um, I play Call of Duty that's though. Fine, but listen up some Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm uh, good. I'm good at card. Please, like that's. But I suck. My... I'm willing to do it. I want to know what my man's got. I, I, I can try. Time. I can try. I can try with the FIFA. Say this, if you that niggas, it's a challenge on both sides. Yeah, no, I'm, cool. I'm game. I'm game. I'm game. Have a game. That is good. Toxic trait. Your personal red flag ah. that you've noticed in yourself. Bad communication. Are you lazy? Do you pretend to people? Like, what is your person? I think I'm too nice. That's my toxic trait. I'm too nice to people. Really? I would like me. I was afraid to ask for the interview. I don't think I'm that... too nice. Like, I don't think I have a backbone to say no. I okay. can't be rude to people. Okay. I can't. I'm not straightforward enough so, in this say, industry. Say, it's a say, problem. And the thing is that a lot of people will take you for a boost. No, not yes. disrespect. They take you for a boost like that and things that have uh, not disrespect. But hey man, I'm out here with the basic boys. Make sure you subscribe, like, hit that whatever. Don't do it on, on YouTube, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, my name is Uzi Mamane. Shout out to you guys. Away. Like, comment, subscribe to the basic boys. Give them a follow. Give them a like. Tag them. Do whatever. Just be on it. Oh, if you haven't liked, commented, or subscribed already, you lame. You obviously, obviously do not understand what's going on here. My name is Lucas Rap. You at the basement, boy. You understand? Be easy, be cozy, stay nice, and remember, LH3 on the motherfucking way. You dig? Slits.